All right, this patient's 41, 5 foot 4, 184. That puts her BMI at 31. She's had three kids. She's from the East Coast. She's going to be in town for two weeks, and we're doing a 360 BBL with abdominoplasty. All right, we're doing our 360 abdominoplasty tummy tuck. We're going to create some definition here. Removal of the excess skin, and of course we're going to bring in the waist as much as possible. All right, we're doing our 360 fat transfer. We're going to light everything from the upper back to the waist. We're going to bring in the waist, super tiny waistline, expansion of thighs and buttock. Remember, final result depends on starting shape. She has a very good starting shape. She's going to have a very dramatic silhouette. All right, we did our 360 super thin waistline. Removed as much fat as I could. Remember, it all goes down to pinch, so when you're done, the pinch thickness should be approximately a finger breadth. Expansion of the buttock and hips. She wanted maximum projection of the buttock with some minimal contouring of the hips. 360 fat transfer, you can see super pinched waistline, very, very, very narrowed waist. We created some definitions, 3D effect, definition here as well, and not too much expansion of the thighs. All right, remember East Coast, so travel. She's gonna be in LA two weeks. Mother of three, BMI 31. We did our 360 fat transfer with muscle repair, which is part of every tummy tuck. Uh, patient, like I said, will be in town for two weeks. Usually I recommend three weeks off of work with tummy tucks, final results at three months. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop us a comment, give us a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.